Hi and welcome. I'm Josh from Hobson's Bay Libraries. From the 15th to the 23rd of August, it's National Science Week. And the theme for National Science Week this year is Deep Blue, Innovations for the Future of Our Oceans. I think we can all agree that our oceans are pretty amazing places with home to some amazing creatures and that water in general is a pretty neat substance. So we're going to be doing some activities and experiments this week. So let's check it out. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a water trick. We're going to be making an ice necklace and we're going to be doing some underwater optical illusions. So stay tuned. So our first activity is to do with atmospheric pressure. Now there's some big words, but it's really simple to explain. You ready? All you'll need for this is a glass, some water, and a piece of cardboard. And the cardboard needs to be flat, all right? It needs to be flat, not bendy, not have any rips in it, just be a nice flat bit of cardboard. I also recommend you do this outside, not inside, and that you do it with an adult. You might be able to do it inside in the kitchen over the sink, because there's a good chance that the water will make a mess. Um, so you, if you do it outside, it's a lot easier and you know it's going to dry on its own and it doesn't really matter as much. You don't want to wet the carpet or the floors and have to clean it all up. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to pour the water into the glass on my special fishy placemat. This is what I like to do all my water science on, this special placemat. It's good to have a covering down just in case things get wet. So I filled my glass, I only filled it up about halfway, I don't want to fill it all the way because that would be really heavy. And then what I'm going to do, put the flat side of the cardboard down over the glass with one hand like that, the other hand on the, on the drink, and then I'm going to turn it over. You might get a little bit of water escaping from your glass, but you want to have it flat on your hand. Okay, then we're going to try something. I'm going to move back a little bit just in case, because I don't want any water on the table at all if I can and I'm going to let go of the cardboard and the cardboard is going to hold up my glass all on its own. Well, I'm going to press it down, press the glass down really tight so that it's flat and remove my hand. Oh look at that magic trick, the cardboard is holding up the water all on its own. That's atmospheric pressure, that's air pushing up from the cardboard and because air can't get into the glass because the water's blocking it and the air inside the glass is helping hold it there too. That's how divers get underwater when they're in their special pressure suits. They might be surrounded by water. Their body might be submerged in water, but their heads are in the clear because they have a set up something like this. Their heads would be in the part of this glass where it's dry air and they won't drown. So that's pretty amazing to look at. But that is one of the cool tricks of water. Thank you for playing along. Now I'm going to let it go again. I'm actually going to let it go outside on the grass. I don't want it to go everywhere. So it won't last forever. After a while, it will end up going on its own. But if you just move the cardboard, and it splashes. And that's what you want it to do. The second activity is making an ice necklace. Now we'll try and get the necklace made first. And I'll tell you a little bit of the theory. Because the ice blocks do melt. So I've got a container here full of water right to the top. With a little bit of gap. I've got an ice block sitting in there that I've got fresh from the freezer. I've got my salt and I've got my thread for my necklace. Obviously it's too small and it won't fit, but maybe it might be a bracelet or something. So what we want to do is the ice blocks floated to the top. We want to put the thread right on the top, just touching where, the, where it touches the ice. Just right where it touches. And then we want to sprinkle the salt. If I can open my shaker, it's open, that's good. Just a little bit of salt on top. And unfortunately, it didn't work for us. It doesn't always work. It does take the right bit of thread. But what would happen is you sprinkle the salt on where the ice is touching the salt. And then when you lift it up, the ice will be stuck to it. It didn't work for us. So sorry about that. I've run out of ice, so I can't try again. But once you've got it, and then you can tie it around your wrist. But that's a cool thing about water. It can come in three forms. So it can come as ice in ice blocks like this when it's frozen just like in the Arctic or the Antarctic when it's really cold. It can come in liquid form like this, so we can splash it around and have some fun and swim and bath and shower. 
and it can also come as steam. So you might see it when the kettle's boiled at home and the steam rises up out of it. You might have seen it when you're out in the cold and you breathe your breath out and because your breath's hot and it mixes with the cold air, it makes steam and you look like a dragon blowing smoke. But um, this is really cool. This one, um, normally the salt oxidizes it, so it helps it stick to it. Um, it didn't work for us this time. Hopefully you have better luck than I do, but not all experiments work as you plan. Have some fun and have a go. Thank you. So for our final activity today, it's a little bit different. It's an optical illusion. So let's see what this water can do. At the moment, it looks like it's pretty much gibberish. If you look through the glass and see the word, you can't really see anything. But guess what happens when we add water? I'm going to stand up, get my jug, add it to the glass, and let's see what it says. And just like that, magic. Pretty cool, yeah? I'm not even going to tell you how that works. That's a mystery. I'm going to see if you can solve it for yourself and make your own special magic writing. And you could do a whole bunch of different words. A little hint, you just have to write them in reverse, as if it's looking in a mirror. Because light and water can do some amazing things. All right, let's see if we can change it up. And let's see if we can change direction. Firstly, I'm going to tip my water back out. my glass back. I'm going to remove our magic. Replace it with our little friend over here, Mr. Fish. So, just like Dory would say in Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this fish's direction. So can everyone see our little fishy? And our arrows, and where we're going, all right, pointing that way. Let's see if we can change it up by adding water. Well, looks like we've changed direction for that fish. I hope they're pleased with it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video from Hobson's Bay Libraries for National Science Week.